Good morning guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to do a short video on uh, blooms, lavender blooms and uh, watercolors. So just have a look at that. So I am using cold press paper for it, 300 GSM. So I begin with, uh, I have used uh, Tamlin Artist Quality uh, watercolors, mauve, viridian green, fresh mauve, viridian green, Prussian blue. And this is chrome green. This is viridian green, this is chrome green, and this is white. So just uh, follow me for a quick chat. Just apply a like, uh, thin wash. Just apply a slightly light wash of viridian. Getting a smooth uh, lilac wash. On the paper. Painting tiny florets. Of lavender. So you can see this is the wet on wet technique. Where I have just uh, wet the paper using a wash. And now... I'm going to give it a slightly darker wash to that. So lavender blooms are really calming to paint. So, they so I'm going to mix a little bit of Prussian blue with the mauve lilac. Sort of giving it a really deep shade tiny dots working on wash so as you can see the lavender bloom uh, gets a pivot towards the end so just going over the washes getting it deeper and deeper a little bit of Prussian blue mixed with it So I'll do the next one this way. Just over it very lightly. Now the benefit of cold press paper is that uh, it can take a lot of amount of water. So there's no problem painting it with water. Mixing a bit of Prussian blue with the lilac to give it that gorgeous purple hue. run over this a little bit more so you can see the second one uh, with the wet on wet technique uh, it's uh, more uh, washed out the shade is more washed out and uh, oh, yeah. we are going to do this a little bit of highlight like this so uh, I'm going to show you how I add a little bit of highlight over over these florets using a little bit of white where the light 
touches them. Yeah. Even for this one. So you can make the light source coming from this side and uh, you can see that. I'm gonna give my third. I'll do the branches later. Just applying a little water wash over this. my way through this you must make sure that you're using the artist quality uh, watercolor paints because the student quality watercolor paint does not give much of a good effect although if you have that supply at home not a problem you can always use that for practicing but it's always better to go in for a good quality paint even if you're practicing so now i'll have my let's use a little bit of more water here ow ow it's got a little bit okay so not a problem you can always lift up a little bit of paint using your fingers or even a uh, sponge got a really interesting dab of lavender working its way out here it's gonna give a quick small one here Working its way through using the dry technique. A little tiny one, you know. And uh, I'm gonna give it a little white highlight as I have done that. Now I'm going to show you how to paint the stalk, the stem, a little bit of viridian green mixed with a little chrome green. So uh, you can also mix a little bit of uh, burnt sienna. I'm gonna take out my burnt sienna just for a hint of deepening the shade. And also that it gives you a sap green effect. When you mix uh, chrome green with a little bit of burnt sienna, you can get that sap green effect there. Must wash out. Okay, this became a little too harsh. But never mind, we can always lift it off the paper. Just a few casual strokes. Yeah. The leaves. So you are having your bunch of lavender almost ready here. 
just a little bit of detailing here and there required to signify a little bunch who me baba so i've just kept my son busy with his books by it while i paint water colors are extremely calming to work with it's, it's peaceful and satisfying to watch now what i'm going to do is i'm going to give a little highlight on some of the blues Sure. Especially this one. Just a few casual strokes, and I'm going to deepen my Prussian blue on the other side. Just a hint of it, not much. so uh this shows the light source coming from this direction and a little bit of uh, deeper color here to show that it's the shadow area okay i can actually include a tiny